Hey, what up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Tyler, and this More League Boys basketball video is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rib Company. All of our Jordan coverage is sponsored by Chris Steinhauser, and all of our Cabrillo coverage is sponsored by the Cone family. Thank you to all of our sponsors. We were on the west side for the 7-10 rivalry. Jordan in town taking on Cabrillo. This is a massive game for both teams. J-Town alum, Chris Spencer, the head coach at Cabrillo, is hyped for this one. Playoff atmosphere in the building tonight. Both these teams battling with Wilson for third and fourth place in the Moore League. Jordan won the first meeting, but these teams look different now. And the Panthers came out strong in the early going. Five different players would score as they took a 15-4 lead. Samaje Jackson, then Gerald Pickens with the and one, then a kick to the corner. Jamar Andrews, a great triple jumper, also a triple shooter, as it turns out, as he puts that one in. J-Town up double digits and feeling themselves on the road. Then defense leading to offense. B.J. Taylor pokes it away, then cleans up the miss in transition. Two of his team high 13 as J-Town's up 17-9 after the first. But in the second, I got a bone to pick with my meteorologist. I was told the rain was finished, but they were wrong. Cabrillo bombing it from downtown. Aiden Gonzalez and Chad Washington, number five and number three uh, for Cabrillo, just reining them in. Washington had three threes in the quarter as Gonzalez knocks down another one. They were just unconscious. Ethan Briz gets in on it, standing on Brizness with the tray. Cabrillo hit six threes in the first 420 of the quarter. They were six of eight from beyond the arc in the second eight minutes. That's crazy. After falling behind by eight, Jordan went on a 14-2 run. Jay Mari to Jackson with the nice dime. Then off the offensive glass, Josh Gibson with the three-point play. Definitely a game of runs in this one. Taylor gonna knock down the deep one as we're tied back up. Then Redmond on the follow. He had all 10 of his points in the first half. Panthers up 36-32 after scoring 10 in a row. But the Jags not rolling over though. Lincoln Dean with the MC Hammer move. Pumps and a bump. Three of his 17 points as Jordan would lead 39-35 at recess. But after half, the bank still open on the west side for Khalil Williams as he splashes that one in. Then fellow senior Caleb Curry with the nice reverse lay as it's Cabrillo's turn to go on a run here. Then Dean with the lean to put this three home. Jags open the third quarter on a 10-0 spurt. Now the counter punch from J-Town as Gibson gonna can another jumper. Then Taylor with a nice bounce pass to Andrews. Obviously that one's gonna count on the goaltend. Then Pickens adds a couple more buckets to close the quarter. His floater gets the Pickens roll as he had 11 points for J-Town and they were down 52-51 after three, setting up for a good finish. Into the final quarter, Washington with the putback. Cabrillo back up by five. But the other number three responds with three. Noel Alvarez connects. Now it's a two-point game. But this comes shot of the night. Washington going to uncork one. Fouled, but it goes in anyway. A game-high 19 points for Chad Washington. Five three-pointers made. And uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely feeling it tonight leading this team. And here's another pivotal moment. Jordan down by five with three and a half to go. Redmond driving, and he's called for the charge. That is his fifth foul with 319 left. Chris Francis very unhappy with the call. Redmond played less than two minutes in the fourth due to foul trouble, and they're gonna have to try to come back without their leading scorer. But they could never get closer than five. Dean's gonna hit Curry for the dagger as the Jags already celebrating this one. And as the final seconds tick away, they can celebrate some school history. 14 wins, the most ever for a Cabrillo basketball team. 68-61 the final. Both of these teams with everything to play for next week for a playoff spot. They both have key games against Wilson, but tonight belongs to the Jags as the West Side made some history, hoping to ride this momentum into the CIF playoffs. If you want coverage of the rest of this wild Moore League basketball season and, of course, playoffs after that, you got to stay tuned right here, the 562.org.